Let's get into this game. All right, here we go. We got another game here. We got a two versus two on BGH. In the bottom left base, we got Texas Theft, Blue Terran. He's um, allied with F Frangarlo. Frangarlo, the Pink Terran. And these two guys are going up against Wudo and Vizendorf. Vizendorf. Vizendorf's up here, top right. White Protoss. We got a Teal Zerg on the left. Got a good luck, have fun from Tex. Let's get in this game. This game's kind of a, a fun one. Not not top level play here, I mean, we're only uh, over and around 50 APM, but it, you know what? It's still fun nonetheless. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. We got the Protoss. He's gonna throw down his first pile on. He's not gonna go for the scout. Zerg scouts above, sees nothing there, so these guys don't have any scouting information. Looks like Tax is gonna come over here and uh, start a supply depot for a wall off. Our other Terran scouts the white Protoss above him. Throws down his barracks first. Okay. Now this Protoss here <coughs> can probably figure out that the Terran's uh, below him, so sometimes Scouting so fast can work against you. Let's see what happens. Oh, looks like we got a six pool out of the Zerg. What, uh, what are you doing with that six pool, man? What are you doing? Tax uh, scouts the bottom, sees nothing there. Looks like he sends out a double scout. And he throws down the fast gas. Like he wants to be the first in the game to get some gas. Wonder what he's gonna do with that. Um, let's see, we got some idle probes here. Maybe he's busy over here uh, hiding. What are you doing hiding up here, man? Oh, looks like Tax sees the lings out, calls it. Man, this guy's so good at the game. <laughs> There's that idle worker though. What are you doing? Lings go to the right. Go to the right side of the map. Um, and just in time, Frangar though, closes the gate to his wall. Man, if those Lings would have gotten his base, it probably would have been game over. <clears throat> barely, just barely misses it. I see Frangar throws a Bunker down, uh, saves his SCV. Widow decides to head south. To uh, attack tax, see what he's got. He runs into a wall here. Starts attacking the wall. Oh, tax, your brain went the wrong way. <laughs> but you got three SCVs to repair and save the day, another Marine pops off. Tax holds, throws down a, what do you call this thing? A factory, Terran factory. <laughs> uh, we got two barracks, academy out of Fernando. Frangar though, Frangar though, who's uh, starting to stockpile some gas. I think I'll try to nuke one, Tax says. Does he mean one, as in one o'clock base, or does he mean one of the two players? <laughs> I think he means this one o'clock position. Um, Tax is infamous for uh, nuking Protoss Nexuses. Nexuses? Nexi? I don't know. Anyways, unless you have a better plan, he says. All right, we got the... Uh, 
White Protoss Visendov throws down a Siddle of a Dune and a third gateway. Sounds good, looks good. Looks like he's maybe going for some high Templars, but he's gonna need more gas than that. Um, Fernandardo says, no, I'm gonna just get straight Marines. Sounds good. He's getting his stim pack up. His third barracks. I got a second hatchery coming down. Widow's uh, saving up for a hydralist den. He's throwing down a hydra den. Good move. Um, Tax is making a tank and a starport. Okay, Tax says. All right, so we got we got a small force up here from our guys up north. Ling's in the middle of the map, just chilling. What is he doing down here, Tay? He's throwing out a science facility, an academy. He really is going for nukes or what? Scanner? We do not have a scanner yet in the game. Although he does have an academy, he could build one. Oh, we have the Protoss moving out. The Protoss decides to head towards the center of the map. He sends one goon off to the right. I don't know if that was an accident or a stupid goon. Just decided to do that on his own, but anyways, he sees there's nothing off to the right. <laughs> Woodo decides to meet him with his humongous army of two Hydralists in the center of the map as well. This guy needs way more drones, this is ridiculous. Tax has pretty good saturation. This guy's got a good one, Frangar though. And Vistendorf. Eh, he's, he's doing all right, but Protoss should have a little bit more than that. Maybe a second beat coming up soon, or at least he'd get a probe out. Maybe he could uh, take a base as he's uh, pushing out with this force. But we got uh, Frangar, though, stacking up some chips over here, some nice Marines medics. Looking real good, getting some upgrades. We're almost halfway done. Nobody else has any upgrades there, do they? He's, he's getting a cybernetics core uh, goon upgrade range. And then we have any upgrades out of the hydrogen, no? Man, you have so much money, 800 minerals. He really needs to uh, beef up his army. Tax, where, what are you doing? Second command center. He's got a vessel and a nuke silo almost done. Holy crap. Whole He's sending, a, he's sending a dropship off with a ghost. He's sending a dropship off with a ghost. Oh, wow, well, I heard a scan go down. I heard a scan go down. He just scanned the white Protoss. Must have scanned both of them. So they know exactly what's going on. The enemy knows that they, uh, the Terrans are up to something. Terrans have just scanned in. I just noticed that. It's two Terrans versus Zergen and Protoss. It's pretty cool. Always like that matchup. What is Tex? Tex sent his dropship over here. He's waiting. He's waiting. What's he waiting for? Maybe the nuke. The nuke's halfway done. We have a huge army in the center. I don't think. It's very close. That's, <laughs> I think if they were to attack Tex right now, Tex would just die. Oh, he's moving. He says hit them. Hit them and distract. Tex wants to get into position and nuke. I feel like the enemy senses something is up. I feel like they sense it. Look, he's throwing down photon cannons behind his mineral line. He senses something. We got a spire going down. Oh, we got an attack, a distraction in the middle. Looks like Tax uh, is moving up. He drops a ghost in the box, bottom side of the map. Cloaked, moves up, sees the cannon. 
takes a shot with his rifle and drops the nuke. Sends in the science vessel. It looks like the Marines either died or fell back. Science vessel moves in for the EMP. EMP is successful. He, uh, Vistadoff moves his probe. He tries to get him out of the way. Oh my God, everything just blow up. Wow. <laughs> that was a hit. Tech says that was a hit. Oh my gosh. The Zerg wants to move down, but the Protoss is devastated. He doesn't know what to do. His arms in the middle of the map. His Nexus is down, Tech says. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight barracks, Marines. He's, he's working on uh, armor. We already got plus one out of the Frengar, though, on the right side. Should be fine with these Hydralisks. These Dragoon's a little bit more powerful, but he lost his Nexus. He can't produce anymore. He's throwing down some more photon cannons. Robotics facility realizes he might need detection to see any more cloaked ghosts. We got Wraiths out of attack telling Frangardo to expand. He's attacking a completely undefended uh, layer. He's just taking out drones right now at will. There's nothing. The Hydralists are out of position. <laughs> now Vistadoff wants to move in now that uh, the Hydralists have moved back. Looks like Tax threw down uh, some good defense in the front. He's got tanks, he's got a bunker, he's got a wall up. He's got a turret, he spots the Dark Temple, he blows it up. We got Frengar, those Marines moving off to the left side. Takes out the Mutalists. Ooh, Hydralists totally annihilate Tax's Air Force. Marines engaging the uh, Hydralists with that plus one attack. They're doing pretty good, did they stim? Looks like they might have. They just took out the entire Hydralist army. There's still a squad, a small squadron of Marines left. They're going down though to these sunkins. They're just tearing them. They're just tearing them up. There's like three sunkins right here. Finally cleans it up with a few mutilists left standing. Looks like Tax uh, had an engagement down here that he lost, but he held. Protoss Nexus is back up and running. He's back up and running. He's thrown down plenty of cannons around his base. He does not want to get nuked again. He does not want to get nuked again. Meanwhile, we got uh, what appears to be another nuclear launch going down in the nuclear Zerg's base. I think that he's in range to be, oh, we, oh, we got detection. We, we got a lurker moving from, the be from behind. We got a Dark Templar that just took out uh, Took out the ghost, so that means there will be no nuke. We got Mutalist moving in. Looks like they cleaned up this uh, little Marine Force. We got another Marine Force moving up to the north. Wow. Looks like Vistadoff just didn't have enough time to, uh, he might have spent too much minerals building all these cannons around us for detection and then didn't have any forces to stop the Marines. He's got a nice Templar with some storms, but it's way back here in the back. I don't know what you're doing with this Stargate. <laughs> what was his plan for the Stargate? I don't know. Maybe he's gonna work his way to, uh... wow. Scan goes down, Dark Templar goes down. Good storms. Took out a majority of the Marines, but there's still a small squadron left, but they're in very low health. Mutalists clean those up easily. But we got attacks with another round of rates moving in. Some more additional reinforcements from Frangar, though. Mutalists trying to defend as best they can. We have one uh, uh, Templar, High Templar left. He's got one storm almost available. Will he be able to get it off in time? Oh no, barely missed it. Barely missed it. We got fire bats getting uh, taken down by these cannons. Man, cannons just destroy infantry so fast. They really need a, uh, need those medics, or really they need a tank. That's what they need. Um, Tex has quite a bit of wraiths now, up to eight wraiths. I don't know if he sees these lurkers. The white Nexus just went down. 
It's not looking too good for uh, our Zerg player over here. All he's got is three sword colonies, three sunken colonies, and a dream. Ah, uh, we got a cloak brace versus mutilus with no detection available. I'm not seeing a way the Zerg could pull out of this. Tex has a. Uh, Got a lot of production facilities, but no, nothing's producing. Plenty of money to produce from. He must be busy microing up here. To spend his money. Spend your money tax. You have 800. No, <laughs> meanwhile, speaking of spend your money, uh, Vistanov can't really spend his money because he's dead. But the Teal Zerg here has 1,700 minerals and his larvae is just sitting there. He's massively supply blocked is the problem. Yeah, that looks like game. I don't see... There's no way. Uh, I'm going to speed this up. We're going to call that a wrap. This is uh, 2 vs. 2 EMP BGH Nuke. Um, probably not the best executed, but uh, nevertheless, tax <laughs> Wall himself in again. Takes a nice expansion here, but the game is coming to an end. And hope you guys enjoyed the uh, 2 vs 2 BGH EMP nuke. Um, I'll see you guys next time on the next replay. Till then. Sayonara, GG. Watch this come to a close. Oh, this is sad. <laughs> That's just sad. All right, just tap out, my friend. It's over. It's over. He's fighting to the last man, last drone. But it looks like uh, White is uh, almost lost all his buildings. He's trying to rebuild up here to the north, but it's not gonna work. Got the Marines coming in and they just stomp on everything. That's got to be the end, right? Yep. That's the end. Let's just take a look at the scoreboard. Yeah. I mean, not the highest uh, actions per minute. Tax himself twice. So really, I mean, if you add these guys' scores up, they might have beat Tax by himself. <laughs> But that nuke, I think, just uh, totally decimated um, the enemy. I think they had a stronger um, uh, units because, he, look, he, he produced quite a bit of units. And Vistanov had a uh, good unit production too, but I think they just waited too long. Um, nuke does not come out fast, and they just waited too long, and that nuke was uh, just beautifully done and executed by tax. Anyways, see you guys on the next video.